Hi, I'm Steve Lindsay, Commander of Space Shuttle Discovery on, space, on Discovery's final voyage into space, her 39th trip into space. We've prepared a more formal tribute to Discovery that we'll, uh, we will put together later, um, but for now, on this final day on orbit, I'd just like to uh, get each crew member to say a few words uh, and their thoughts of Discovery. For me, Discovery is a very, uh, very personal thing because I've actually flown Discovery three times now. My first flight I flew in 1999 on STS-95 when we brought Senator John Glenn back into space. I, f I flew her again in w as one of the return to flight test missions, STS-121 in 2006, and then finally STS-133, her final flight. So Discovery is a very special vehicle to me. Discovery has contributed greatly to the space shuttle program. She's flown a good portion of the major, most significant flights in the space shuttle program. She, she uh, deployed the Hubble Space Telescope, 13 trips to the space station, contributing the assembly uh, of the space station in a very big way. She's been to the Mir space station. She's done science missions. Um, she's done all of the return to flight test missions, both after Challenger and after Columbia, bringing us back into space after those tragedies. On this final day on orbit, when I think about Discover, I think about all that. I think about all the people that went before them, before us uh, on this vehicle. But mostly what I think about are the thousands and thousands of people across the space shuttle program these past 30 years who, who designed this vehicle, built this vehicle, have taken care of this vehicle in operating this vehicle, not just from the cockpit, but also those uh, who operated this vehicle from the ground. And that, that is her greatest legacy to me. I remember marveling at the space shuttle at the New Air and Space Museum when I was a teenager. And now as we fly Discovery's final voyage, I still marvel at her today. I would also like the, I would call this, the space shuttle Discovery a dream machine. And it's the people that make the ship, the people that are involved in all our training. And it's a testament to the people that maintain her, train her, that the first flight is as clean as it is on the final flight. In 1948 in Europe, after the ravages of World War II, a bunch of wild-eyed scientists got together and mapped out a vision for the future. Among them was Werner von Braun. He saw a vision where we'd have a put of mankind pushing out into the solar system uh, on a pyramid of space stations being serviced by a fleet of shuttles that went to and from the Earth. Here we are at the turn of the century, the 21st century, with a fleet of shuttles that does just that, and a space station that could be potentially be a, a platform for leaping off into the solar system. Discovery is one of those workhorse vessels that got us off on that vision and has us going and will take us into the future and hopefully will be a model for how we do this later on in the 21st century. And as a ship of Discovery, Discovery has been truly amazing. And I was thinking earlier when we look back, even now at the uh, shipwrights of the 19th and 18th century and we marvel at the work they did, in the future, when we go back and we build another vehicle that's as capable as a space shuttle, we're going to look back at Discovery and the engineers, the designers, the people who maintain her, and we'll have to ask them how in the world they did that, because it's truly amazing. And this vehicle, even though it's only spent a total of 365 days or so on orbit, which is less than those earlier ships, was spent on a single mission, its accomplishments are truly amazing, as the commander noted earlier. And so thinking about it and looking back, I'm just proud to be a part of this team and a part of this crew on our final flight. Well, I know a lot of sailors out there are familiar with the term sea kindly. You use those words of a vessel that just is strong and powerful, yet easy to handle and works very well at sea. And I think Discovery is that way. She's space kindly, if you will. She points where you steer her, she hauls what you put in her hold, and she just performs magnificently. It's an incredibly powerful machine. It leaps off the planet. Uh, we were firing the thrusters a little bit earlier, and it's just amazing how this ship can maneuver. And I think that uh, one of the greatest legacies is going to be the space station that we just left. When you look at the space station, you think, my gosh, that is so big. How on earth did we get a million pounds to orbit? Well, this space shuttle helped to get a lot of that mass up there. I think the uh, legacy that she leaves behind is, is quite incredible. And all that makes her strong and powerful and, and gives her that sea kindly nature is all the hands that have taken care of her that fiercely defend her and service her when she gets back to home port. And even though it's the last time, we really do look forward to bringing her back to her home, home port and uh, back into those caring hands. And I think I'll be continuing on a common theme here, but um, there's a few words that come to mind for me when I think about 
um, my own experience with Discovery and the Space Shuttle program, as well as just, you know, how we think about the program itself. And that's um, a blessing and the words thank you. And uh, for me, uh, out of college, I was very, very fortunate um, to be hired on by NASA at the Kennedy Space Center. And this is over 20 years ago, and have the opportunity to work up close and personal with these just incredible, indescribably beautiful vehicles. And I have a vivid recollection of um, coming to work at KSC one of the first days, and I was very fortunate to be working in the orbiter processing facility, which is the big hangar where we take care of uh, the orbiter part of the space shuttle and having somebody walk me um, into the facility, out into the middle of the floor, and asking me if I knew where the space shuttle was, and, and I looked around and you know couldn't see anything, the gear wasn't deployed, and I remember looking up and seeing this just wall of black tiles, and from that very second being just so like overwhelmed and impressed by, by the orbiter. And um, I'd like to just say thank you to all the people who have um, taken such great care, care of her, of Discovery and the other space shuttles, and um, making it a safe place for us to live and work up here. And uh, I, yeah, there's there's tears coming, so I will uh, I'll stop very soon. But I, um, I'm looking forward, like Mike said, to bringing her home to the people who care for her most, and to um, the time when we're uh, on that runway and we can look back and still see her standing on her own gear with her her own proud wings holding her up um, before she goes back to that hangar for the last time. And um, thank you. So uh, after we bring Discovery home tomorrow, she's going to go through some decommissioning, and then uh, she will go to a place of honor, some place where all the public can go see her and hopefully see her as we saw her, as all those workers have seen her, as the engineers and designers and the, and the operators from the ground have seen her as well. Discovery is a great ship of exploration, one that our nation should be very proud of. And I am hopeful that Discovery and the other orbiters in this space shuttle program will continue to inspire the entire nation for many, many years to come.